Welcome to today's fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to look at tying my very own Mayfly Emerger. This fly has done me the world of good and saved me from a lot of difficult days when, when usually we think of Mayfly fish as being relatively easy. But sometimes those fish can be really fussy and hone in on one particular element of the hatch. And this really encapsulates that that stage when the when the nymphal fly is trying to emerge into the adult and is trapped in the surface film. So to start with, we'll apply our thread. Today using quite a heavy thread, uh, this time an 80 wax thread. Uh, and that's really because we're tying a much bigger, bigger fly with a few different elements. Uh, so I want the strength and the thread bulk. So we trap that off there and we're working on a slightly curved sedge hook uh, because I want that emerger effect of subsurface and on the surface as well. So I've taken the thread more or less to level with the with the barb of the hook and we're going to tie in our, our first material uh, the pheasant tail. As we know with the mayfly it's very famous so you've got three tails so we're going to replicate that by using three pheasant tail fibers. And to do that, we'll match them up. We'll work our thread a little bit further down where we want our tail to be. And we'll drop that over. And just a second locking turn. Now I'm confident that that's enough to hold that in place. So I'm actually going to tie the rest back and bring that thread forward about four or five millimeters. Essentially what I want to do now, throw two or three open turns like that and you'll see why in a second. And I'm just going to start winding the pheasant tail forward. This is to replicate that dark section at the back of the mayfly. Three or four turns. Just gonna hold that in there. And now there's open turns, I'm just unwinding. One more turn up, and we're just gonna tie that off. Twice over the top. A couple of times in front. And that's ready to be trimmed out and that's the tail and the rear segment of the fly complete. I don't worry too much about that being a little bit messy at the moment because we're going to cover that up with dubbing. Now we're going to trap in a rib material. So it can either be a brown thread, uh, this particular thing is um, called micro metal by Semperfly, it, it's similar to a wire but it's a, a thread based material. And we're going to now look at building our body. Here we have a super fine dubbing, a colour very helpfully called Danica as we're replicating the ephemera Danica. A um, couple of messy loose turns too worried about that thread showing through at the moment because we're just going to be covering that up and now really winding down on that dubbing we're going to start building our body it's quite a dubbing hungry fly because of the sheer size of the mayfly Now we're edging towards that flat area of the shank. I want my dubbing to, to finish. We'll tie it off there with a few, few thread turns. And we'll now bring our, our rib forward. So, like all flies, we can start with some tight together segments. Just gently opening those out 
as we go forward. And then just trapping that off. You'll see our mayfly body now taking shape. Now this is where the fly gets interesting. We add in some foam here. I've pre-cut some flat foam and we're going to run that a little bit forward and trap that in. So you can start with some loose turns and then build up some thread tension. You don't want to go straight in with a tense thread otherwise you might cut through that foam. And what I do once we've popped that on is actually just get a bit more dubbing. And this just to tidy up the section just behind behind the foam, which can often find itself a little bit sparse on the dubbing front. We're going to add some CDC in. Uh, and we tie that in, so we prepare the feather by stroking it and tying the tips in first. Yeah, and I'm not too worried about how untidily that goes in, as long as it's locked in and secured facing back. I'm going to do the same with the second feather. And trimming away the tags. That now pull one of the feathers slightly out of the way and grab a set of hackle pliers and we're going to wind the CDC feather around the foam as if it was a parachute hackle. Drop that over. Everything will begin to look a little bit messy at this point but don't worry. That's part of the joy of this pattern. Tie that off. Get your scissors. And turn that one out. Here. And now, with feather number two, do exactly the same. Just two or three turns. Right now you can start to stretch some of those fibres out of the way and run your thread through that two, three times, however many, until you're happy that it's tied off. Here with your scissors again and pull out the excess. All right, now strike everything back. Use your thread to bury down there and now we're going to add in a, a thorax dubbing not too much small brown thorax this is African goat but seals fur a brown hair's ear anything at the like will do the job just something bushy that's going to act as your thorax add right, some thread turns there and now rather than leave that as a parachute, we stroke everything back and we pull that foam forward. You'll see how this will splay out all of those fibers. Pull it forward, nice and tight, and pinch with your thumb and forefinger and slide the thread down on top. Make sure you're happy with the position and do your locking turns, stroke that back and some securing turns underneath. Now that process will invariably add a visible amount of thread. So just a small amount more dubbing. And you can wind that over the top there. That tidies all of that up. And then before I cut this off, I'll actually hold that back and whip finish the fly. Oh, 
and you can trip away the thread, position that forward, cut it a little bit long so it's a straight edge, and there you are. You've got emerging mayfly, the wing exploding out of the wing bud there, wing bud on top. This is a great fly for the mayfly, one that you should absolutely try. I hope it brings you a lot of success and if you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.